Namaste. Namaste, everybody. <clears throat> These are some emergency messages I have for Aries and um, L.S. You know who you are. Um, it's very late, of course. <laughs> I had... Um, some stuff prepared I had some stuff prepared I don't know why I can't say the word prepare I hope this is recording <sighs> I've been battling headaches guys uh, migraines again and I wait for it to go away and it doesn't really go away so I don't understand what is happening but I put on my Jason Stevenson meditation music. I I put my incense on. I don't know. It's not getting in the picture. There it is. Okay. So hopefully you can hear me. Okay. So basically I'm going to... Um, I look a hot wreck, so you're better off looking at the beautiful smoke and the beautiful candle that has everybody's name on it. We have, this candle is from my friend DC, and she isn't feeling well lately because she has lupus as well as um, other people that I know, um, so I have her and her family on here. Of course, I have Jennifer Dulos. I have um, Eileen. I have Harmony. I have Sincere and Classic. I'm not going to forget about my grandchildren. I have Kim Magical. I have H.R. Laura. I have Summer Moon Utah Wells, which, happy birthday, sweetheart. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Unicorn, I have Suzanne Morphew, I have Michael Monkey, Michael Joseph Vaughn. Um, yeah, I, I have more people, but oh, I just touched it and it's really hot. Okay. All right, let me just put it back there. Uh, you guys could see it. Um, yes, so I want to get started. And uh, I'm just going to do my reading of my papers. And hopefully doing it this way will help me to not be so ADD, um, which you know that I am. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so these emergency messages are for Aries or anyone who resonates with it. Um, you could be under the sign of Aries. Uh, your initials could be LS. Um, you know who you are. And you also could be um, just anybody out there listening. Okay. Okay, so Aries. Your angels have been trying to contact you. When I sat down to write some notes, um, and what I do is I write down some names or I just let clear my mind, say my prayers, and I already did. Um, when I first sat down to write some notes, uh, this was the other day. Okay. There is something in a relationship that you don't like. And you don't want the drama. You want you just want peace. But that doesn't seem to be happening. You're giving them a second chance. But is it a one hundred is it a one hundredth one hundredth chance? Okay, if you don't believe me, see where I wrote a second chance, but is it a 100th chance? Okay. All right, so your person is trying to act calm and make believe that they're okay, but they might not be okay. Some kind of legal matter or mental issue under people under anxiety. Um, you're sympathetic, Aries. You're sympathetic, but 
you don't want to get involved, but you love them. Okay. Undisengaged. Undis- you are disengaged. Okay, yeah. I got disengaged. Is that a word? Okay. You know how I make up my own words sometimes. Let me put my glasses on because I'm hella blind. Okay, so hi. So you're disengaged, and they think you have all the answers. But you don't want to decide something, Aries. You don't want to decide something, and they want you to decide things for them. Somebody is leaning on you too much to make all the decisions and to be the only adult. Um... So your angels were like worried about that. That's what they were saying. They were like, Katrina, um, there's too much pressure on the Aries. Um, the Aries needs more fun. The Aries needs more relaxation time. The Aries needs more, you know, engaging in their um, <clears throat> gifts and talents from God or hobbies. Uh, but they don't have any time to do that because they have all these decisions to make and they have other people wanting them to help them constantly okay don't shoot the messenger okay <laughs> accept the message or if if the message doesn't resonate just leave it there um take what resonates okay and leave the rest you're sympathetic, but you don't want to get involved. So it's like they show me, Aries, you on like on a standing like on a brick wall. You know how there's like these brick walls that are like four inches wide or five inches wide and you're walking on it, but you could fall either way and you just don't want to make a decision either way. Okay, so um, your angels want you to stick up for yourself and like say like I've had enough of stress for the year thank you very much uh (laughs) I need a little less stress in my life and that means other people have to be the adults I don't know what really that means but this is the feeling they're giving me um so you don't want to hear you you don't want to hear some things that they have to say certain person. Now, this could be uh, a relationship in your life, a significant other. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a child, a son or a daughter. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's somebody that you love and you always want to help them. But you're like, are we doing this again? You're starting to see there's like a pattern going on. And you basically can't solve everybody else's problems. You, 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 you're like, uh, sometimes I can't even solve my own problems. I hear you. I hear you, Aries. Okay. Um, yeah, pe- it's time for people to put on their big boy pants or their big girl pants and get to helping themselves. And you'll be there to help them. But you want to see them making some sort of progress or some sort of um, action. Okay. They've create. Okay. They. You think they have created a situation that has secrets and some shame. But you know it's not yours to have. Okay. I'm going to repeat that, Aries. All right, because that was really important, and it took me a while to friggin' get this straight, because I didn't really understand, because I'm a little bit lame. Okay, you don't want to hear. You think they have created a situation that has secrets. You know it in your gut, okay? And some shame is attached to that. But you know it's not yours to have. 
for some reason, this person in your life, a friend, a significant other, a, a son or a daughter, um, is kind of putting it in your lap and saying, here, handle it. Here, Aries, solve it. Here, Aries, fix it. And Aries, you are the fixer. Okay, you have been in the past, but now you're like, uh, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Okay. I don't know why I'm making those weird noises, because it just calms me down, I guess, sometimes. One second, one second. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, by the way, I forgot what I was trying to tell you guys on my walk and talk. I was trying to, t yeah, I'm just drinking salsa. I couldn't even get muster up the energy to open my Jesus juice, guys. Um, because I wanted to get my readings out of the way. But I forgot, I found my papers uh, that I wrote on Capricorn. So... I showed it to Devin. I was like, oh, look, they were in my pocketbook the whole time. And he was like, oh, we'll just read them, you know, just do another video for Capricorn. I was like, no, then I'll be five videos behind. Anyhow, he goes, yeah, just do it when you get a chance. So I don't want those papers to go to waste. So Capricorn, you're going to get a bonus. Anyhow, let's get back to Aries. Okay, so Aries... You have to, what, what, I'm, what I'm feeling is you have to let the person in your life kind of take action to solve their own problem. And something tells me it's a problem that happened in the past and, and they fixed it for a little while. But now it's happening again and you're like, are you for real? And you're kind of putting a blind eye on it because you just don't want to deal with it. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. No one would blame you because you're busy and you're tired and you're kind of stressed out. And you're like, I don't want this to be happening again. But we can't just wish it away. Um, you're going to have to have a come to Jesus moment with this person in your life. And then some of you Aries are going to cut this person out totally. But I feel... That you're really not going to. Because you love them. And your love is strong. But sometimes love isn't enough. You have to let them know what your expectations are. And let them try to get out of it. Okay, so now. I have some some messages for cancer. Um, moon children. Okay, little emergency messages. The devil... The devil card came out, and that usually is kind of like, it could be addiction, it could be listening to negative energy, or having toxic thoughts, or being in a toxic situation. So, this was all coming out at the same time, but then I was like, who's this for, Aries or Cancer? And they said, a little bit for Cancer, a lot for Aries. Okay, so for the Cancer moon child, it says, the devil card, meaning, um, are you using your own false narrative? Are you saying, you know, listening to, or are you listening to the false narrative from somebody else? Okay, so it's time to come out of the dark. It said moon children, cancer, it's time to come out of the dark shadows that you have been in for a while. And you are finally breaking free. You are. You're coming out of that way. You're coming out and you're expressing yourself, which I was really happy about. It says you're finally breaking free from the devil energy that's been keeping you back, that's been holding you back, maybe the last few months or the last few years, and you're not being a hermit anymore, and you're just like expressing yourself more, and it's, it's making you smile a lot more. Um, so projects and career, career uh, developing, social, being social, socially, you're becoming more open. Okay, Cancer?
Okay, now I'm just trying to figure out my notes because my notes are confusing, to tell you the truth. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, so I have. I'm sorry, guys. This is like a, a manic type of reading, okay? Just stay with me. I'm still on cancer, okay? At first I thought I wasn't. Okay, so moon children, socially you're coming out of your friggin' hermit phase that you've been in for three years, okay? Um, a little bit like Capricorn. Um, February and March, you're standing true to your peace of mind because you want to have peace of mind. Um, minimize the drama, you don't want to have that drama um, because you know that it doesn't solve anything. Stick to your core group of friends and family that believe in you, Cancer. and But they believe in you, but they don't hinder your dreams. They want you to, um, they encourage your dreams. Those are the people hang out with. Those are the people that you can ask advice for. But Cancer, you know what you have to do. There's a couple of things that you've been wanting to do, and you know when it's time to start doing it. It's time for you to to put out and share yourself with the world. Show your creativity, Cancer, or your business ideas. You need to believe it, write it down, write it out before it can come true. Uh, you're coming out of a toxic time, definitely coming out of your shell, and maybe even some health problems. Um, it's almost like what they showed me is like the sky was like all cloudy and rainy, and then all of a sudden the sun coming out. So that's a good symbol for me. Then I know that it's like literally and figuratively the sun is coming out for you, Cancer. Um, so coming out of your shell, standing up for yourself, and health-wise, it has to do with your health, everything. I don't know if you're going to try a different medication or try different um, herbs and, um, you know, maybe patch up. Maybe you need to patch up. <laughs> this is a GABA patch, by the way. Anyway, um, it helps me to be silly. <laughs> okay. Um, anyhow, uh, different, yeah. So they said go over the herbs again, okay? So trying like different herbs or medication or natural things, natural vitamins. Maybe it's a different vitamin regimen, um, you know, getting more exercise or taking a class or uh, joining a gym. Um, just something that is related to your health. And then w once you get on that track, there's no stopping you. Uh, once you start that. Okay, so coming out of your shell, standing up for yourself. Yes, standing up for yourself. Moon children, we need to stand up for yourself. Um, I don't do moon children that much, but it, this came to me very, very, very strongly. Let me take a sip. I needed to take a sip because I had a potato chip. <laughs> I'm not trying to rhyme. I really did have potato chips. Okay. You know, I don't lie. Okay, so. Cancer, moon children. Really stand up for yourself. And stand up for what you believe in. Even if it's controversial. Even if it's um, people, you know, uh, being... Uh, a little bit like of a hater. Um, stand up for yourself. It's time. Do what you friggin' want to do, okay? A career change or separating from others to take on a fresh start, a new title, pay raise, even a new car maybe, something that will change your life. You need something new going on in your life. Love, someone you get along really well with, you don't meet them in your house or apartment, okay? Let me say that again. Cancer, you're not going to meet them in your house or apartment. Now, I know what some people out there are going to say. They're going to say, Oh, well, Katrina, you can meet people on the internet just like you're, you, met, you met us. Okay, yeah, that's true. You could start out with that, but 
We want to have real life relationships where you can actually go out of your house or apartment and see them. Okay. Okay. In, in the real, in the for real, real, in the real reels. Okay. So, <sighs> yes, love. I'm talking about love. I'm talking about friendship and love. So someone you get along with really well, you don't meet them in your house or apartment. It's a new networking word of mouth type of friend or a co-worker. So it might be a friend of a friend. So say yes to everything. Say yes. Oh, I'll meet that person. Oh, I'll go hang out with you guys. Oh, I'll go to the movies. I'll go to the gym. I'll go whatever it is. Start networking more. Start getting out of your comfort zone. You'll finally take an initiative to get jobs or get a job or even move to an apartment or move move you're moving from one situation to a different situation. Move into a new place where you have been, where you have been staying, Cancer. Now, this is just for some moon children. It might not be for everybody, okay? Um, move into a new place where you have been staying is not meant to be forever. So, when the situation arises for it to, for it toward the spring, yes, toward the spring, I felt like the warmness. I saw some flowers, maybe some flowers mixed with the snow. I don't know why. Um, but you learned a lot from 2021, 2022. Now you could do better, Cancer, Moon Children, in 2023. Step into your power and stop being independent. Be friggin' independent. You're going to love it. Um, it. Yeah, is it scary? Yeah, it's scary. It's scary to be an adult. <laughs> I'm not kidding, but is it worth it? Oh, yes. You have a, a certain peace. Um, when you find your tribe, when you find your uh, place that you like to be at, um, and you just decorate it with everything, all the crap that you always wanted to decorate with, <laughs> you buy a chair and a couch and a bed, uh, it's heaven. You buy pictures, whatever. I don't know. I see somebody moving into a new place. Okay, it's time to make a move. Research. Research, research. You can... A place where you can feel better, where you could grow, be successful. Cancer, you have been waiting for these changes in your life, and you may get nervous when you see the movement and you may want to retreat back into your hermit phase. But don't go back. You may want to go back into your being a hermit crab. But now is your time to shine. And I'm not trying to rhyme. And change your life into whatever you friggin' want. Okay, back to Aries. Okay. <laughs> what I have to do is I have to throw these papers out. Otherwise, I get mixed up. How many minutes am I droning on for 23? Okay. Now I feel happier because I'm getting something done. Okay, so. Now I'm back to Aries, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so Aries, job opportunities, job opportunities, money, money, money. Okay, see? See, see, see. Although I did speak about some kind of legal thing that you have to straighten out. Um, but it's mostly because the other person, your significant other, needs something straightened out. And it's like always like you're fixing things. You're the fixer. Okay, but we don't. the angels don't want you to be the fixer. The angels want you. Okay, here's the, here's the analogy they give me. Okay. If you want to teach, if you want to help somebody eat, you give them a fish. If you want to help them to eat forever for their life, you teach them to fish. Okay, so don't make it so easy on everybody, Aries. Okay, teach them 
to fish instead of just giving them, okay? Because they're always going to come back f to give them more. Um, you have to teach them what you learned how to do. If you can learn it, they can learn it. If I can learn it, they can learn it. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Aries, you're freaking waiting for something to happen, aren't you? You've been waiting for a better opportunity in terms of money. You've been working your butt off almost like a, a, maybe even more than a Capricorn, okay? Because Aries are boss. Aries are boss energy, and they, oh, they always take the lead. Okay, so things are coming in, but you need patience. You got to have pay, hey, 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 patience, pay. Asians. And I'm not even drinking, guys. <laughs> I could get silly like this just on um, salsa. And of course, my patch. Patch it up, guys. Patch it up. Gabba. Gabba's works for me. Anyhow, sorry. I am very awkward. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Rule number one. In in a uh, comedy club, don't laugh at your own jokes. No, you're supposed to laugh at your own jokes just in case nobody else is laughing. Okay, I had to take a sip. All right, things are coming in, but you need patience, Aries. Okay, you 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 are the boss, and you do you have worked hard thus far, and you always work hard, but. The angels are saying February, March, and April is like a building period, okay, for your bank, for your for your um, money bag, and for you to be even putting something aside for that trip. Um, the money situation is at a standstill right now, and January and December, of course, tough. Um, he gets... Oh, a man will help you. Oh, wow. So, Aries, a man will help you to get the help that you need. He gets you. He understands you. I forgot I wrote this. Keep holding on and manifesting, but also leave it in divine time. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to show you my paper. You see the divine time right there? Okay. So, Aries, you know what that means. It's not your time. It's not my time. It's a divine time. So, it's God's time. God knows the perfect time that he's going to give you your blessings. That he's going to give you what, what you've been praying for. Okay? So, you have to be patient. And he will... And if, and if you need help, you always ask God, please help me. Um, I'm having trouble with this financially, or I'm having trouble with this emotionally, or spiritually, or family-wise, or health-wise. And God will deliver. But keep on believing that he will, and ask him to send the angels, and Archangel Raphael, for health. And um, I forget which Archangel is for abundance, but we can call Michael, because he's good for everything. Um, September is important. For some reason. That's what I wrote. September is important for some reason. I know that's vague. Let me just see if the angels want to say anything. Why is September? Oh, in other words, for, for things coming true. Things coming in. So you might have to wait and build up. Build up what you're doing. If it's a side business or if it's a, a, an idea for... Um, a second job, or if it's a different job that you want, build it up. Um, make do the research, just like Moon Children, just like the Moon Child that I told them to do the research. Um, but I see like maybe even a boss that you have now, somebody who's in a position of power, um, sees how hard you work and they offer you something. But September might be the one, the time. So you might have to go through the summer with just building, building, building. And you might be like, is this ever going to happen? Is it ever going to be easier for me? 
will I ever get my rewards? And it says finances need to be kept organized and tight. So keep those finances tight and keep it right. Um, someone will help. And someone will help. Okay, and that's all I got on my papers. Because I have all different papers. And it's a mess. It's a mess, but. Um, yeah. One second, one second. Yeah. Okay. So, now, I'm going to do the cards. Um, I already shuffled off camera when I was trying to tap in. And these, the first cards that I'm going to do are the angel uh, not the angel cards, the spirit spirit cards that I made myself, okay? And I said, what does Aries need to know from this, their spirit guides and from divine? And the first card I got is this one. I summon God, Jesus, or anyone who love me, should be loves me, believes in me. I invite my spirit guides and you're to ask your spirit guides to help you. And if you don't know the names of your spirit guides, that's okay. Just say my spirit guides. But I feel that you have a male energy in heaven. It's like a father figure. That That's one of your spirit guides. And you have another female energy that's in heaven. That's another spirit guide. So you could put them in those boxes. And you say, God and Jesus and Holy Mary... Holy Mother Mary, to help me, you're summoning them. Protected, I'm protected by the white light of Jesus, and Jesus, and knowing my angels and guides will always know I'm open and receptive to receive their blessings. Okay, and now, that was really hard to read, because I could read that it's grammatically incorrect, but when I write the, wrote these cards a while ago, I was in meditation mode. Trust me, I wasn't drunk when I wrote them, but I, I'm realizing now it's grammatically incorrect. But you get the idea. I summon God, Jesus, or anyone who loves me, believes in me. I invite my spirit guides. Remember, I feel with you, there's a a male energy like a father figure, put his name here, and a, fe a younger female, and God, and